We're now going to make a few comments about pressures and specifically we're going to take a look at absolute, gauge, and vacuum pressures. Beginning with absolute, and sometimes you'll see this with a little a to denote the fact that it is an absolute pressure. Don't confuse that with Pascal's. Uh, that's meaning pressure absolute. But what this is, so this is a pressure measurement with respect to a zero pressure reference. So a zero pressure reference would be zero pascals or, or zero pressure. Uh, an example of this atmospheric pressure is 101.325 pascals, and that is an absolute pressure measurement with respect to uh, zero pascals. So P atmospheric is an example of that being an absolute pressure measurement. The next form that we're going to look at is a gauge pressure. And gauge pressure is reference to the atmospheric pressure. And it is often given the symbol P little g. So PG is always higher than atmospheric pressure and it's referenced to atmospheric pressure. And then finally, we can have pressures that are below atmospheric and reference to the atmospheric pressure. And those are referred to as being vacuum pressures. And typically, if you see it, it might have a little V there, denoting that it's a vacuum pressure. And just like gauge, it as well as reference to atmospheric pressure. So let's take a look at a, a plot of these or a diagram showing the different pressures. So what I'm going to plot on the vertical is going to be the pressure itself. And first of all, let's assume that our atmospheric pressure is here. And we'll call that absolute. So down here would be zero pascals. And typically, uh, atmospheric is 14.7 psi or 101.325 pascals. And we'll denote that as being PATM, so that's atmospheric pressure. If we have a gauge pressure, that would be above the atmospheric pressure. So let's say we have a gauge pressure someplace up here. And let's say the magnitude of that is PG equals 400 pascals. So that would be a pressure then in terms of absolute pressures. We'll continue this line over. If we were to draw an absolute pressure for that, we would have 101.325 plus 400, which is 101.725 pascals. So that would be an absolute what that gauge pressure would be. And let's say we have a pressure that is lower than atmospheric. That would be our vacuum pressure. And let's say we have a vacuum pressure that is minus 51,325 pascals. And I'll call that P little v. That would be vacuum. 
and the pressure there would be 101325 minus 51,325. That would take you to a pressure, absolute pressure of 50,000 pascals. So those are different pressures. Don't get confused with them. Whenever you see gauge, it's reference to atmosphere. And whenever you see PV, that will be reference to atmosphere as well, but it'll be below it. And if you see uh, P atmosphere, that usually is 101.325, or it could be 14.7 PSIA. Sometimes you'll see the A there, and that denotes an absolute pressure as well. So those are some things with pressure that we, uh, you'll need to remember as we work through problems, and you'll see that constantly, gauge or absolute. Uh, vacuum we don't use as much, but typically quite often we use gauge and absolute pressure.